Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's coffee cup reading. This coffee cup reading is for all Sagittarians and it's for April 2023. I hope you will enjoy your cup. It is your reading, your coffee cup, absolutely is gorgeous. There's so much going on in your life. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Yes, I can't wait to read it, all of it okay um welcome my dear viewers all of you each and every one of you new viewers welcome please be aware and mindful that prior to doing the coffee cup i always meditate and get in connection to all the guardian angels and um, i'm given information that i write it down on a piece of paper like this and deliver it to you right at the end of the reading so please stay tuned for that now let me start with the glasses on and let us begin first and foremost the first thing i'm seeing is that um it looks like someone stepping back. It looks like it's time for you to sort of step back, step back and look at everything. Recognize all that you have done. Be honest with yourself before you move forward. See where you're at and what needs to be done. You need to recognize your limits and um, recognize how much you can do and how much you can give it's so important it's like the universe is saying you've done so much you've been sort of like following through being obedient and just following through and it looks like now you've got a sort of you're you're reaching at a stage where this particular one ch particular chapter in your life is coming to an end and and the universe is preparing you for a new one but before it does it does look like you are going to be you know, feeling as though you're missing out on something. There is an opportunity um, and divine timing is playing now um, in your life. There's an opportunity coming that is going to give you abundance. I feel like you are quite protected. There are amazing um, angels watching over you, not one, but two perhaps, or even three. Um, you're, you're really loved by your, they really love you. They really cherish you, your guardian angels. It looks like they are sort of like, what can I say? It's something really amazing the way they are looking out for you. They want to give you abundance. They want to make life easy for you. You've gone through so much and they want to make life easy for you. There is divine intervention. That's what this is. This is divine intervention for them to be hovering like that over your life and showing me like, um, it's like, it's as though you are a light worker. Uh, it's as though you are from a different place working here and sacrificing and doing something very big. And I feel like now, um, the decision is for you to be moved out of this position that you're at, which isn't um, making you happy. In fact, you're not happy at all. And um, they want to give you something to celebrate. They want to give you, you know, um, something really worth celebrating. And you're celebrating this particular event, whether it's an event, some truth, someone in your life, someone wonderful coming in your life. And also there is extra money celebration because of money also so extra money could be a promotion or something like that but i'm seeing uh, something out of sort of becoming out of control um out of control i wonder what that means i'm seeing something out of control out of your hands perhaps something is taking place that's out of your hands but you know what there is um, a ladder you're climbing a ladder and there is an angelic being watching over you um, I do feel like there is someone there, or it could be you, that you thrive on sports. There's something about sports or outdoor activities. I feel like you're meeting someone who is um, like-minded, like you know, somebody who enjoys um, doing sports or thrives at extreme outdoor sports or, um, or watch sports. There's someone like that coming into your life or entering your life, or you might be doing things together with someone in regard to sports. Somebody is asking something from you. Someone's asking time. They want time. They're saying, give me more time. I need time for some reason. Maybe they, uh, a certain way that they feel, they've never felt this way before. Maybe first time they're going through this. Maybe you've put them, uh, you've given somebody an ultimatum. Um, I feel like this is quite challenging. Someone from the, your past, someone that you have happy memories with, um, comfortable time you spend together. 
I feel like it's it's I feel like you might have uh, left somebody behind and they're sort of trying to bring you back or get you back but it looks like to me like there's someone else it's like you are you've turned your back on this person and there's someone else I see a grand big giant fish with an angel holding this fish bringing it forward towards you it's just <laughs> miraculous um i'm trying to see like i'm trying to see what kind of animal is this it looks like a snake to me a dog this this white here it's a big fish now it's a big fish with an angelic being uh moving it along um there is also possibility um okay i'll, I'll talk about the fish in a moment but just before that um this person that you're dealing with there might be a little bit of this person could be a little bit um they might have anger issues uh, there could be some conflict in regard to something um could be to do with power could be to do with lust could be to do with greed there is some sort of challenging somebody challenging your authority or there's some sort of a conflict but in the pr in the midst of this con conflict it becomes a little bit hostile maybe just a little bit um and and this is really causing you a little bit of emotional sadness because it reached to that feeling guilty maybe maybe you'll you've left someone behind or um you might you might be the cause of their misery because you have left uh, you might be feeling guilty about that also that could be possible um but i'm seeing that the universe and your guardian angels are saying we're going to be pushing you towards abundance and happiness and, and love and and don't give up hope keep moving forward but i do see something has collapsed without a doubt something has come to an absolute end and somebody is grieving the loss of this situation i feel like this is something like you know those situations where there's a tower something that wasn't um, going well or wasn't moving forward uh and, but there is um there's anger there's hurt maybe forgiveness is needed um maybe it's time to let go of the past disappointments and let go maybe you need to forgive yourself that could be also a possibility you are going to be empowered big time because i see your guiding angels moving you forward it's like not only moving you forward giving you power giving you abundance giving you happiness and i feel like um you need to concentrate you need to be more flexible and you are you are giving getting the power to be able to do that you're getting the um the support but most of all you're getting extreme high level um high level of tremendous power uh, to be able to concentrate more to be able to move forward more abundance is coming you might be considering re relocating um but the universe is saying just wait a little bit just don't rush um for relocation you are sort of trying to make a decision about where you where you want to live or what to do i feel like there's something wonderful happening the truth is uh, something incredible is coming i see like there's a big fish here and there's another fish here it looks like a whale this one it's that big it's not a whale but it's a big very very big fish i feel like this fish all is saying to me luck is coming your way abundance is coming um you're going to be adapting to this change a new way of life a new passage and balance control and abundance is all coming so you can enjoy literally everything that's been orchestrated for you by your guardian angels all prepared for you there's a beautiful dolphin here again all this beautiful fish it's amazing now there is also a rat here so i'm seeing there is a rat somebody born in the chinese year of the rat in your life um you know this person really this person really uh, enjoys it when you do well and they are they're always there by your side and sort of like watching over you someone born in the chinese year of the rat um or could be the person that you might be sort of in in communication with because i'm seeing you talking to someone face to face trying to sort of work out something it could be the person that you are that you might have left behind or you're giving someone an ultimatum and saying like you know this is how 
this is what I want and where are you at? Sort of something like that, it looks like it. Chinese year of the rat. But I do see that your dreams and plans are going to be finally fulfilled because you are determined, you are relentless and you want to move forward. There is victory for you, without a doubt, a great victory for you. And I'm seeing success and I'm seeing positive effects uh, that will affect even your self-esteem. So your self-esteem, your confidence is becoming glorious because of a glorious success. Uh, recognition for something that you've done rewards uh, either from your life your community your work um, or or and from your guiding angels a lot of rewards are coming there are three paths of different rewards coming your way um, the beginning of a new cycle brings someone wonderful in your life I feel like there is a union of two hearts uniting and uniting um starting a beautiful path together one that's got the light there covering the light is everywhere removing all the darkness this is a love connection that defies explanation it's something like beyond what you either expected ever to fall in love with someone like this or to reach to where you have reached up it's just incredible this person has got a lot of earth energy um, in them earth energy very very strong um Earth energy being Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I also feel like this person is quite someone you can depend on, someone you can rely on, someone very, very attractive, and someone that is quite free and sort of like they love their freedom. You, and they love traveling maybe because I see um, you're going on a voyage together, like a, a starting, you know, it's like, you're falling in love, yeah, but you're planning things because I see a boat there and planning and, and ideas of where to go and what to do. I also see uh, a lot of earth energy. There it is, the earth energy. This person's filled with earth energy, especially, especially Capricorn. There's two Capricorn and one Taurus and Virgo. I see so very strong uh, earth energy. So they could have Virgo Taurus, but double Capricorn. So the Capricorn is doubled up. That makes it very strong, but very, very strong earth energy in this person. That's three times I said earth. Now, the other one is there's two crabs, water energy, but only cancer. They've also got cancer in them. So earth and cancer, beautiful. There's someone very wonderful, very respectful, very loving, very nurturing. And what's shocking about this, talking about nurturing, there are two lions here, Leo. They've got Leo in them, which makes them very, very nurturing, very loving, very passionate. There is a little bit of Aries um, and there is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't show which one. It just shows like one Aries and then the rest is just air, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But there is two Cancers and two Leos in this person and Earth, which makes them someone very stable, very established and quite comfortable financially. Uh, someone very nurturing, loving, and they love high tech, high tech stuff. They like to always upgrade and update everything. They're into high tech technology. This person could be born in the Chinese year of the dog. I see the Chinese year of the dog three times, one, two, three. Um, someone wonderful, loyal, you can depend on. Someone that you can not only have a relationship with, but a grand and incredible friendship. Chinese year of the snake here, very strong. There's one, two, three snakes again. So three dogs, three snakes. That's shocking. That's just showing the power that's... um. Uh, when when it's triple doubles or triples, it just shows how powerful it is for the for all the Sagittarians. So we got um, we had the dog, and now we have the snake. Chinese zero of the snake, whether it's yourself or the person. And then there are two rats. So Chinese zero of the rat, and I saw the rat before. So the rat is here again. Chinese zero of the rat is also um, very important here. And then I've got the Chinese zero of the goat. Two goats, two rats, two goats, and of course um, three. We talked about the other three. Now, I'm seeing happiness to the highest level. I'm seeing a period of supporting. There's support from every angle coming your way. Someone is pushing to spend the rest of their life with you. Somebody's going to be pushing for that. It's a special kind of love. It's, it's, it's a love based on commitment. You're making a commitment with this person. There's joy. There's happiness. There's... um planning to put your money together buy something big together there's so so much i feel like you could be even thinking of buying a house together 
It's like, you know, purchasing a home is, is you know, there's a property talked about. Happiness to the highest level, um, extreme, extreme happiness. And a lot of abundance is already coming on top of this love. Let's see what else your um, guiding angels wanted you to know. I'll just go through this. Now, it says a gift from the heavens, a great gift from the heavens. Wow. A gift from the heavens meeting for dinner. You're getting together with someone for dinner. That's going to be a special dinner, perhaps. Something is false. Something isn't real. You've got to be careful. Chinese year of the tiger. Chinese year of the tiger. For those of you maybe who are born in the Chinese year of the tiger or dealing with someone born in the Chinese year of the tiger, it says there's confusion. But there's the fish again. I, I saw so much fish here, so many uh, fish. And now there's fish again. Fish is about Pisces. I should have said that, Pisces. Pisces, uh, but I didn't see the double fish. Maybe that's why I didn't say Pisces. But Pisces is there, but fish is also about abundance. And it's about luck, luck and abundance. Something about lemon. Maybe you need to put more lemon into your life. The zest of lemon. Lemon is about the zest of life. Lemon is about, um, lemon itself is, is very important to have. Uh, sort of, even if it's on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, very important. Lemon, something about lemon um spoons something about spoons cutlery which means you know some of you could be dealing with working in the food industry um thinking about upgrading your cutlery perhaps or there could be something sensual like spooning and all that it <laughs> could be that could be possible anyway agreements there are agreements one agreement is taking place and there is uh, i was shown also now i think the the guiding angels wouldn't say about spooning it'll be just something to do with something about the spoon uh, it could be you know in a dinner maybe it's that dinner meeting at dinner and then something about the cutlery or starting your own business tools, uh, business tools, buying business tools. That could be another one. Or upgrading your spoons. But that wouldn't be something important that they would mention. I don't know. It's there. You will know what it is. I can't wait for somebody to comment about this. Agreement. And then there is the honeybee I was given a lot of sweetness. And results that are going to be sweet also. A transition is taking place. There is the white. I was given the white. White flag could be connected to the Chinese year of the monkey. The actual color white is about purification. It's about detoxifying, cleansing, uh, taking care of your health. And it's about peace. It's about having peace. It's about forgiveness and and uh, having closure, another thing. Uh, the white is also connected. Oh, then, then there is a decision. You are going to make a decision. You're questioning something. You're questioning the decision, perhaps. You're questioning something. A cat. Chinese year of the cat. Chinese year of the rabbit. This year. Or you're, you might be thinking of buying a cat. Or you might, your cat might need your attention. There is a story about a cat or someone born of the Chinese ear of the cat or rabbit. Now, um, skin issues and blemishes. There may be some issues you might be having. Maybe the lemon might be the one that might help. You might consider um, taking care of your skin because it says skin issues and blemishes. Maybe they're real and you're not taking them serious and you've got to. It says victory uh, ultimately. So there's going to be a victory overall in every obstacle that you're having, whether it's the decision, whether you're questioning something, whether it's skin problem, you are going to have a victory and overcome all these obstacles and challenges. The next one is the, the names. I'll call out the actual um, letters. Could be the beginning of names, or could be um, building numbers, or building letters, or could be uh, initials, or the beginning of your names, or the people that you might be meeting or dealing with in April. We've got C for cat, we got D for dog, we got two R's for Rome, or rose, two of them. So impact, a big impact on R. Two A's, those of you with your name beginning with R, those of you beginning with A twice. I've given A for apple, for Antarctica. Apple, Antarctica, twice. And then M for Mary and F for France. M for Morocco, F for France, just one each. Just the R and the A were doubled up. So big shout out to people with these names and pay attention to everything that's been said in the cup and here. Now, uh, we've got number seven, three numbers I'm given. Number seven, Chinese year of the horse. It is also connected to someone born in July, which is Leo. We had two Leos here. It is also somebody born in July, could also be Cancer. And we had two Cancers and two Leos here. So um, seven, those of you who are born 
uh, on the seventh of the month number seven itself it might impact you and it's about spirituality and freedom finally having independence and freedom and spirituality uh, you know your vibrations rising from the time you see this cup up to july a lot of freedom a lot of independence and a lot of spirituality happening in your life and perhaps meeting someone chinese here on the horse the next one is um number three those of you born with the chinese year of the tiger tiger we had the tiger before here in the reading there they called out the tiger three is also about people born in march which is which are the fish pisces pisces big time we could be connected to someone that's pisces um and also um aries there was one aries and Pisces has come up twice, with the fish, it's come up everywhere. So three is also in regard to families, building families, uh, uniting together, working in business together, family businesses, thriving, um, education increase, um, skills being increased, doing courses, starting a business, collaborating together, doing exceptionally well, and doing a lot, and families, starting families together. Number three Connected to people born on the third of the month, born in March, people also born in the Chinese year of the tiger. From the time you see this cup up to three months from from now, from April, uh, all the way, a lot is going to happen in the regard to in regard to everything I explained about the three. Now we go to number two, Chinese year of the ox or buffalo. Two is about um People born in February, which are Aquarians and Pisceans. Here we go. Pisces again. Pisces is very strong in the reading. And it is to, it's about abundance happening. Okay, first it's about abundance. Then it's about relationships. And a lot happening in relationships. Remember that. Two, from now, April, all the way to up to two months of heaps of things happening in your relationship from the time you see this all the way up to two. People born in the second of the month, Chinese year of the ox, and abundance coming to you, number one. And number two, a lot happening in relationships, all kinds of relationships, loved ones and otherwise. And that is the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you and if you enjoyed it. And um, don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this, always remember to subscribe and click on the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos for you. I wish you abundance of joy, happiness, lots of love and light, and namaste.